Hey there, this is Patrick with the Antidote team. Uh, welcome to Antidote Learn. So Antidote Learn is where we're gonna teach you about uh, various ways to raise more money, how to, use, how to use and work with Antidote to raise more money, and overall just try to give you some tips and tricks to help you out along the way. Uh, today we have our CEO, Paul Dietzel. Uh, Paul is going to go through some recent product updates and things that might be useful to you. So uh, Paul, I'll let you take it away. Yeah, thanks Patrick. Um, so what, what um, I'm planning on doing at least with the Learn series on a monthly basis uh, is hop on uh, with our success team and kind of walk through any uh, any major updates uh, in a given month. But then also to um, as we make this live and invite customers to uh, participate, uh, kind of in an audience type format, um, will be to do kind of some live Q and A, some live um, situational type. You know, oh, how would you handle this or how would you do this? Uh, and that way we can we can answer some real questions from customers uh, and then be as useful as possible. Uh, so today I'll just go ahead and uh, jump into a few things. Let me pull up a browser. And uh, for the purposes of this, I'm actually going to be using uh, this uh, fake account called Dietzel Institute for Higher Learning that I've created for our test environment. And, um, and I'm going to kind of walk you through a number of uh, different things within antidote so i'll start off in transactions you can actually uh, see here uh, we've got this um, this kind of updated uh, transaction interface it's it's modified from what you maybe previously had seen um, what you previously saw within the system has been moved to entries so you can still access that there um, and it's going to show you kind of more a ledger uh, ledger style uh, but the new transactions area uh, is great for just seeing a lot more detail. You can see uh, if, if you're a customer that's been around for a while and you're still using campaigns in addition to action pages, you can actually see if something, uh, obviously I've been just testing action pages, but you can see if something is a, if a transaction has come through action pages or come through campaigns. You can also see here too, if you're one of our political customers, if a donation is direct, or if you're uh, if you're you've received conduit transactions, you'll actually see a separate area pop up, and that will be segregated uh, for compliance purposes. Uh, another nice thing about this section in particular, you'll notice here in the amount column, uh, we actually started exposing this um, icon to indicate to you that a transaction is recurring or is not. Um, so you can see that. You can also see here. Uh, when the donor paid the fees, uh, we go ahead and kind of strike that out and say that the donor paid the fees just to give you more clarity on what's happening. Um, so you can see here the donor paid the fee, $100, you receive $100. Um, so that's really uh, kind of the main highlights of the uh, transactions area. Uh, one thing to also note is we've added virtual terminal. This was an update we made at the end of the year. Um, it's really kind of a refresh of the old internal donation forms that had been in the system for many years. A uh, virtual terminal is the new uh, and improved way to process donations um, without uh, or process donations while being logged in into the interface. So this is useful if you are keying in a donation for a donor. Um, we do not recommend keying in a donation for a donor on your public pages because there's a lot of um, there's a lot of things that will make that less ideal, um, that if you have questions about that, I can answer in a follow-up, um, learn session. Uh, but virtual terminal is great, uh, to quickly key in donations. Uh, you can see here too, if I type in, um, if I start typing in my information, it's actually going to automatically pull up, uh, my information whenever I click that. Uh, so that's great. It's this kind of, uh, fast populate, um, tool for uh, your donors that have given before uh, that have already given to you. So that's just in your account is not going to pull up donation, uh, pull up uh, donors from all of Antidote, right? Uh, Antidote is big in privacy and security and donor trust. And so that's just pulling your donor data. It's not going to pull donor data from other accounts or anything like that. Um, but so you can see here, you can, you can go through the internal form if you want to have people select, or if you want to select the funds, uh, because somebody wanted to designate their gift, uh, you can do that on the virtual terminal as well. You can even add source codes. 
Um, you see here, please ask, don't assume. You can also, if the donor has directed you to pay, have them pay the fees, you can do that. Uh, please don't check that box unless you've asked the donor. Um, that's just not cool. So uh, you can also then do bank draft. You can do check. You can do, and you can add like a check number or memo, a cash, in-kind, and offline card. So check, cash, in-kind, and offline card are going to be what we would consider non-balance affecting transactions. Those are things that you've either manually deposited into your bank or you've processed through an outside vendor or something like that. So only card and bank draft will incur fees. Uh, the rest are just free. It's just for data, um, kind of data handling and making sure that Antidote is your source of truth for donations. Um, so anyway, so that's virtual terminal. Uh, then let me go over to our account or our action page builder. Uh, so there's a number of updates happening here. Um, you'll see in uh, finance is coming soon. It's not there yet, but in, in the form area, you'll see this here, choose form. So what we're doing here is to make it easier uh, for customers to edit a lot of pages at once. And also when you're creating a new page to not have to go and manually choose all the different pieces um, of an action page to get up and running. So this is what we're calling presets. And you can actually choose from a list of presets maybe that have been used on other pages. Um, you can also uh, change a page to use a different preset. Um, but if you want to, let's say if I wanted to edit the fields on here, I would just click edit form and then I edit this. And it's going to tell me right here that editing this form will update 15 action pages. So that's kind of the power of presets is that I don't have to go into 15 different pages to update. If I, if I have some sort of update that I want to make across the pages, I can do that once. Um, and that's going to be coming to all the different areas, including the, the brand section, uh, including finance, including workflows and settings. So that really is, is kind of an update. Um, you'll also have noticed um, over the last over the last month that we added, I guess what we're what we're calling Express Checkout. Uh, I'm going to reload this page just to just to um, show this. Um, I'm not in Safari. I'm actually in in a Chromium based browser. But um, if you were in Safari, you would also see Apple Pay here. Um, this Google Pay and Apple Pay is really unless a donor has an antidote login for express checkout um it is the fastest way to make a donation um you can make a donation in less than 10 seconds it's so fast it automatically pulls your information from uh, or the donor information from apple from google from whatever the provider uh paypal will be be being moved to express checkout um coming soon uh, we're making some updates on that so for the time being it's still part of the regular checkout process but we will be moving PayPal up into Express Checkout to make that a more seamless um, experience for the donor. And I know um, one or two customers have asked this question kind of, so if we have Google Pay or Apple Pay, you know, how do we collect, let's say, phone number or employer and occupation? Um, and what I love about this is the fact that if there is a piece of required information that Apple Pay or Google Pay don't have, that we do ask for that up front. Um, so that way, when they process it, um, we're not accidentally processing something without information that you really need. So it is nice that it it pulls in everything that we can we can sort of gather from those payment methods, um, but it, it doesn't impact your ability to make sure that you can collect everything that you need to as you know as an organization. Correct. Yeah, and it's so like if you have to collect employer occupation or if you want to collect some specific information that's not a part of that. Let's say you're a nonprofit and you want to make sure you get the title. Uh, you know, Mr. Mrs., whatever, um, then those fields based on the settings that you've created in Action Page Builder will show up on the page. Um, and so that way that information is all collected. It's all, you know, reported to you exactly how you want it to be. That's a great point. Um, yeah, so that's that's really my main things. Uh, we've got some bigger kind of updates um, that are not quite ready to share with people uh, that I, that I'm excited to kind of share with people next month. Um, a lot of those, uh, are kind of the, the precursor to a lot of those updates are with presets. So I kind of briefly kind of showed uh, that today, uh, but I'll walk through presets a little bit more next month and also walk through some other updates that we're going to be making that I believe are going to make people's lives a lot easier. Uh, the end goal really, uh, with a number of the updates is that 
you know, if you're a new account with Antidote uh, or if you're an existing account with Antidote, that you should be able to log in and create a beautiful, powerful, well-converting donation page in like 10 seconds. Um, and that, that saves you time that you can do other things uh, and work on relationships and, and, and build your supporters um, and build your network to be able to drive people to your lead pages and donation pages and action pages. So, yeah, for sure. So there's, there's two things that would be great um, to get feedback from, from, you know, if you're watching this feedback from you on uh, one is integrations. So if there are pieces of software you're using and um, if you aren't sure, if we, you know, have the integration, feel free to go into settings integrations inside your account. Uh, if we don't, please let us know. We'd love to try to build a connection uh, to any other software you use. And the other one is feedback on, on Antidote Learn, right? So what would you like to learn? Um, what would be things that would be interesting to you? What's a question that you've always had and you'd love for us to go out over or have you know, maybe someone from another organization go over? Um, so we would love that feedback uh, and to be able to provide for you, you know, as much information as we can to, to make your life easier. Yeah, and Patrick, that's a great point. Uh, I'm going to reshare my screen really quick and go into integrations because I know we've added a number our integrations team has added a number of integrations, I think, since the last time we've sent out an email or anything like that. Um, and that's another thing to note is that we do have a dedicated integrations team. That's that's what they're focused on uh, because we do believe strongly in data portability and making sure that if you want your data to go somewhere, uh, that we can get it there efficiently for you and for free for no additional cost. And so uh, within the integrations area, let me close this. If you go to settings, integrations, um, that's here. Uh, there, there are just a list of integrations here. Um, you've got Blackbaud, you've got Aegis, you've got uh, HubSpot, you've got Iterable, a Julep. Uh, we've, we've also added uh, QuickBooks here. Um, that's been around for a little bit, but I think a lot of people don't fully know that it's there. Uh, and then we've also got Virtuous for the nonprofits that use Virtuous. And we've got um, an integration coming with Salesforce that's going to be native. So that's going to be really exciting. I know a lot of people have been asking that for a long time. Uh, currently, uh, you use Zapier for it. And Zapier is a great tool, um, has thousands of connections there. Uh, but we heard from you that that you wanted a native Salesforce integration with the nonprofit starter pack. And so our team is going to be bringing that to you more than likely next month. Um, so that'll be exciting. One thing to note about QuickBooks is if you're... If you're an organization that uses fund accounting, um, you can actually set up multiple funds within Antidote. Each of those funds can have their own bank account. They can be set up on their own schedule. Uh, and you can use a single action page to raise money into multiple funds at the same time seamlessly. Um, so what's cool about that too, if you're using QuickBooks, is inside of the editor for funds, you can come here and you can set up an internal identifier. So this would be similar to your account or class inside of QuickBooks. Uh, we may, we'll be making some updates on that as well based on feedback that we'll, we'll provide in a later video. But uh, this can link up to an external accounting system so that whenever you have a donation into a fund in Antidote, it will link to that fund in the third-party tool. Uh, so that's, that's kind of with funds that they work with, with most of our integrations. Um, one other thing to note, you'll see this requests tab. I don't have any integrations on this account, but um, if you do have an integration and it, we're sending data, you can go into this request tab and it's going to send you a list of um, all of the, the, I guess, all the uh, requests that we've sent data out to third parties. Uh, you'll be able to see that. You'll see the logs of that, see exactly what we sent, see what time we sent it. If there was an error, if the third party said, up, oh, the server's down or whatever, um, you'll see that as well. So it makes it really easy to debug, it makes it really easy to know, you know, what's being, what's being sent, what has been sent. Um, and so uh, again, like Patrick was saying, um, if you have any feedback on any of that, we're always looking to improve the platform. We're always looking to make it better. Um, and so we do, we do really listen to feedback, uh, largely via Patrick's team, uh, customer experience. So we really appreciate all the work that they do. Um, and I know that, you know, all of our customers do also. So, uh, Patrick, thank you for, for having me on. And I'm excited to see what y'all are going to do with, with the Antidote Learn series beyond this, like chats with me uh, on a monthly basis. It's going to be exciting. Uh, really excited to see what, what happens in, in 2023. We've got a lot of 
uh, great product updates that I think, um, as you know, I think everybody's going to be excited about. Yeah, hundred percent. I mean, I think uh, I think one of our first videos with with you know with customers and other or outside organizations is probably going to be on memberships, and that was really feedback from uh, from a customer who said I would really like to learn more about building membership programs, growing membership programs. So I think we're going to talk a little bit about that, um, but cover a bunch of topics. You know, whether it's specific, I need to know how to do this with an antidote, or just general. You know, I, I kind of am interested in this area of fundraising. Um, and would like to learn, learn more about it. So I'm super excited. Uh, Paul, thank you for hopping on this first one. And I'm excited for the next couple where we do have some really awesome things planned. Um, and it's going to be great to, to have Paul go over those, take your questions and try to help you raise more money. So. Awesome. Well, thanks, Patrick. Appreciate it. And this is great. All right. Thank you.